Well, another Spooktober Spectacular draws to the close, and I didn't really do costumes this year, because it just felt good to be myself. myself Before you sign away your souls to November, I thought it was time for us to take a journey to a magical land. The world of magical witches connected to Digimon. Yes, the land of Witchelney. But don't go fallen, Angel. We're not just talking about Witchelney generally today. No, no, no. We're seven circling my concept for if Witchelney had its own royal knight or seven great demon lords, what would the great mages, a group of powerful wizards from Witchelney, be in the Digimon world? Well, on today's video, I'm letting you into my inner circle to explore just that. It's Carmine Spooktober Spectacular! What is up, eternally damned companions? My name is Beelzebub Khan EX, and welcome back to another video. And if it's not welcome back, you'd better make sure it is next time. Just click that subscribe button. Nothing bad will happen. So yes, a Royal Knights of Witchelney. In my mind, I wanted to connect this back specifically to the magical witches, V Pets, which are the origins of Witchelney. I've done videos about this before, but basically the TLDR is that Wizardmon originally came from Witchelney, the world of these magical witches, V Pets by Bandai that didn't do so hot. But over the years, it's been revealed that other Digimon are from Witchelney, and a Digimon or two has crossed over from the digital world to Witchelney too. The books of the Magical Witches had four elements. Fire, Earth, Water, and Wind. Earth, wind. So it made sense to me that a great mages group would have a leader representing each element. The Digimon from Witchelney, according to Wikimon, there may be others, are Sorcerymon, Wizardmon, Wizardmon X, Witchmon, Medieval Dukemon, Slash Gallantmon, Mistymon, Flare Wizardmon, and Wisemon. And a Digimon that moved to Witchelney but originally was a Digimon is Hexablaumon. So my first pernicious pick, of course, goes to Medieval Gallantmon, the only mega level inhabitant of Witchelney and who is said to be the leader of the Vortex Warriors a group that we've actually never seen. Him being specified as the leader of the Vortex Warriors, aka the Wind Element, is what inspired me to assign a leader to the other elements. But Medieval Gallantmon's Prevo, there's actually not a lot that lines up and certainly isn't any Witchelney picks. I am going to try and put every single Witchelney related Digimon into the evolution lines in this video, just for a bit of spice. However, an obviously common pre-evolution to Medieval Gallantmon is Wargrowlmon. And I think it works just fine. I've seen some people use the yellow Wargrowlmon here, which, you know, is cool too. I don't see much reason to mess with this. It would make sense that War Growlmon would digivolve into a Gallantmon, of course. And his spiky arm blades definitely work with, is that a halberd? Medieval weaponry experts, nerd off in the comments below. Then as an Evo from that, I decided to focus on the coloration of red so that we could fold in more Witchelney Digimon. Listen, yes, I could have just added Growlmon, but it's not very interesting, is it? And I want this video to embrace if it's going to be magical, that more random, slightly strange Digivolution that you should be used to thanks to the V-Pets and some of my videos. So yeah, Medieval Gallantmon will digivolve from Wargrowlmon and then Witchmon, who is said to be associated with Witchelney. And Witchelney and being red are really the only two things they have in common. But I'm going to be honest, Witchmon doesn't really fit into any other evolution lines on this video, so I'm happy to just put her here just so that she's represented. I have zero problem with a Digimon's gender presentation changing throughout Evos. Togemon is a much more butch or macho looking Digimon in comparison to the very feminine Lilymon. So you know, it's an established thing that has happened in Digimon plenty of times. Don't be weird about it. And then for the rookie, why not Ghostmon? He's not Witchelney related, but he's very associated with Witchmon. And you know, I love my hats connection. It's just my personal favorite Witchmon Prevo. And so I'm going to use it here. If you were averse to this idea of Wargrowlmon and Witchmon for Medieval Gallantmon, you could also go with something a little bit more knightly feeling, like say Nightmon and Gladymon, with the rookie being Pawn Chessmon or something. But I just think I prefer this slightly more out there evolution line to something more medieval and knightly feeling. Sure, it's true to his name, but not really true to Witchelney. All right, then we have the element of water. And well, there's not really really anyone that would fit. I did consider the Shinto trio, specifically Suijinmon, as Suijin is a water god, but I just didn't think it worked here. And we obviously do have a kind of water-related Digimon connected to Witchelney, and that is Hexablaumon. Ice is just solid water. We're getting a free science lesson today too. <laughs> and as there's no ice element in Witchelney or the Magical Witches V-Pets anyway, it made sense to me that Hexablaumon, an ice mage Digimon, and described as a knight in his reference book, could lead what I am calling the Hydro Warrior. 
Warriors, the counterpart to medieval Gallantmon's Vortex Warriors. The Hydro Warriors would be magical Digimon embodying ice, liquid water, and steam. And even though originally a Digimon not from Witchelney, as I said, Hexablaumon is said to be a legendary Magic Knight Digimon that only those who have mastered Ice Sorcery, a high-level programming language, are said to be able to evolve to. It protected other Digimon until the very end, when the digital world was visited by an Ice Age long ago, and was later rumoured to have moved to another dimension's Witchelney. Hexablaumon is heroic, he is water, adjacent, and he moved to Witchelney. He's perfect. And, uh, yeah, his evolution line would be Blucamon to Paledramon to Chris Paledramon. Uh, listen, not everything can be original. Sometimes we just have a normal evolution line. Sue me if you dare! I'm also, uh, as well as the devil bit, I'm doing a, a Matt Murdock bit now, I decided. Comedy. But Sorcerymon, the Wizardmon Ice variant, could definitely be part of this branching evolution line, or just part of the Hydro Warriors. Alright, what of Mistymon? Well, uh, he sure does have a big fiery sword, huh? That would kind of make him perfect for fire elements. Hell, have him digivolve from Flare Wizardmon and then have the rookie be Candlemon. That way, with Flare Wizardmon and Mistymon, we're knocking two which only Digimon off our list, and they are connected to fire. The Mega I struggled with, but settled on Dynasmon? While Dynasmon's connection to Witchelney and Fire is loose, it is a very common Mistymon evolution. Dynasmon also has a Breath of Wyvern attack, and is a Wyvern itself. Wyverns and dragons are similar mythological creatures, so I think the connection to Fire or Fire Breathing is strong enough, in addition to its very fiery prevos of Mistymon and Flare Wizardmon, that it would make Dynasmon a good enough leader of what I have dubbed the Inferno Warriors group, a bunch of Digimon associated with fire, and specifically Fire Digimon of Witchelney. There is something of a connection between Dynasmon and Medieval Gallantmon too. Medieval Gallantmon has attacks called Rage of Wyvern and Dynas, and Dynas is said to be the strongest magical lance that contains the powers of the Wyvern. So Medieval Gallantmon's lance may share the same origin as Dynasmon. There are other much more fiery mega level Digimon, but I think that kind of like Dungeons and Dragons feel that I've talked about with Dynasmon before would be pretty cool. And a kind of warp digivolution I've talked about before is Rurimon to Dynasmon. So I could definitely see Rurimon being the rookie here. He's a little magical dinosaur dragon. He's never debuted in anything because he was created for a fan, but I think he's a very strong contender for a Digimon that could have a connection to Witchelney. So Candlemon, Rurimon, I'm leaning towards Rurimon. And that leaves us with Wizardmon and Wisemon. And I guess technically Wizardmon X, who can just be a counterpart to Wizardmon in this situation. I really, really struggled here. The final element of magical witches that we have to connect to is Earth. And well, Wizardmon and Wisemon don't really have a connection to Earth. The two mega considerations I have here are Ancient Wisemon or Noble Pumpkinmon. Ancient Wisemon, of course, makes sense as a Wisemon evolution. They share the same name and not really visuals, but kinda. And if Wisemon is definitely from Witchelney, then there must be some connection with Ancient Wisemon to Witchelney. But some of you are already rushing to the comments to tell me. I can read your minds, all right? I know what you're thinking. That yes, Ancient Wisemon is much more connected to the spirit of steel in Digimon Frontier. The Earth Ancient Digimon would be Ancient Volcanomon, which uh, could be a Wisemon Evo? Now sure, we could go absolutely expanded brain here and say that steel is made from iron ore, a compound of iron, oxygen, and other minerals that occurs in nature and is dug out of the earth, but uh, you know, I get that's her reach. So my other pick would be Noble Pumpkinmon. Well, because obviously this is the last video in the Spooktober Spectacular this year and Noble Pumpkinmon is so Halloween vibes, but also because Noble Pumpkinmon doesn't really have a place he belongs. He's not part of any major groups, he's only really been seen in Digimon Rear Eyes and some V-Pet stuff. He's kind of alone, he's like Jack Skellington looking for his purpose at the holidays, so why not put him into this group? And if Hexablaumon can originally not be a Witch-only Digimon, but find solace or a place to live in Witch-only, why can't Noble Pumpkinmon? Considered spooky by humans and other Digimon, maybe he would retreat to Witch-only to find a place he can be loved. And if we're making it an evolution of Wizardmon, well, Pumpkinmon was another Digimon in Digimon Adventure that met a bad end in the human world, just like Wizardmon did. Spanish to the Shadow Dimension or whatever my Otis Mon said he did in the dub. <laughs> and to be totally basic, I do love myself a pumpkin spice latte. Pumpkin patches do grow out of the earth, out of soil. I mean, okay, I know I'm reaching, but give me a break here. So yeah, that's what I'm gonna pick. Noble Pumpkinmon, Digivolving from Wisemon, they're similarly tall looking, I guess. Then Wizardmon slash Wizardmon X, and the rookie, honestly, take your pick. Impmon, of course, very common Wizardmon Prevo now. Demi Devimon, Sukaimon, uh, also Ghostmon, like we went for with Medieval Gallantmon. So yes, this line I have picked would command the Terror Warriors. And that's it, my picks of evolution lines for what I am calling the Great Mages of Witchelney, a small but powerful group in charge of the elements of the magical witches. But let me know your picks in the comments down below. I did initially consider doing like a group of seven or 13 to match the Royal Knights, but 
but I think matching the elements of magical witches is something that Bandai is much more likely to do. Let me know your favorites and your picks in the comments down below. Thank you so much for watching another Spooktober Spectacular. It has been absolutely wonderful. I gotta go downstairs real quick and sort out some business, but thank you to my sovereigns, ZDK14, Jmon, and MickeyD343, as well as all my other channel members. I really do become a channel member. It's my birthday next month, and maybe I'll have some surprises and rewards for you. I'm considering a subathon. We'll see what happens. Anyway, the big guys call in, so I will see you next time when we go demonic. I mean digital. Bye-bye.